Hey guys, Dustin here, and we have something cool today because we're over here at LaRue Tactical in the middle of Texas. And so here's how it goes. Me and Mark were talking at SHOT Show and he's like, he wants me to torture test one of his rifles. It's like, heck yeah, I'll come pull the trigger on a full auto for, for a couple hundred rounds. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to burn this thing to the ground today and just see how far we can get. Over there we've got like 50, 20 round mags ready to rock. 20 because what you want in a gun manufacturer is OCD, you know, so everything's perfect. And so the 20 round boxes, 20 round mags, there we go but this is their surge upper and the cool thing about this is so you're, this this it's got a pinned and welded brake that extends all the way through the suppressor you avoid the SBR to X and then you're never going to have a baffle strike either and so this is this bad boy just slips right on screws on and snugs up you've got dual tapers one in front and behind the thread so you avoid the whole argument of where the tapers go snug it up and then we have a heat shield that can go on top of that as well. So you'll see that in a second. So we're gonna just burn this thing to down to the ground in a second, but check this out, walk this way. What we have is another thing, this, this bullet stopper. Okay, I, we, I've got some redneck ballistics videos uh, or ballistics stuff coming in the future, but Mark had this idea of taking these steel balls from a, a stone quarry and with this just in a three and a half inch wall, just like in your house, you fill it up with, with these. And so it's like already here. Oh yeah, it's already right here. We're gonna dump the rest of these in. But that bullet, and what we're shooting, we're shooting some in 855 today, the green tip. So this is the you know normal penetrator stuff anyway. This, uh, we've got just an old piece of conveyor belt in front of plywood and then just a three and a half inch normal stud wall. We're gonna dump the rest of these in. All right, and so then what that bullet's going to be doing right there is it hits and it deaccelerates. It's bouncing off of them, and it shouldn't go out the other side, but go around this side. What we have, we've got our balloons. So we can tell if anything frags through, and you got to forgive if, so, if, if the wind blows a balloon to the side and we hit it. That don't count. And we have about a 4x4 a, a, a four here. So we got to watch out for that. So the edge ones don't count if, if that goes through the wood because the wood's going to now be the weakest part. Otherwise, we're going to just pepper and pepper and pepper this wall as we're trying to burn that gun to the ground. Let's shut up and shoot. shoot. All right, so we're going to measure two things as we do this. First, let me get it, accuracy. So earlier, we shot accuracy tests. So before we started the meltdown, we're going to be right here. Uh, and, and so after who knows however many we, we 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 shoot we're gonna shoot it again and see if we got any degradation there uh next we got a decibel reader so we're gonna see our suppressor performance as well so you can just tap me on the shoulder when we're ready and we'll do a shot all right we're gonna pull that up and see what we got all right we won 38.7 so if you want to show that so yeah we're, we're good in here and safe heck we'll just oh, we'll do a second shot just in case we had because sort of a first round pop thing going on I was going for a flower in the berm. I want to get that flower. <laughs> Guess it's not a tree though. All right, 138.8. So we are very nice in hearing safe. So I'm not going to don any ears yet. And uh, well, I'm ready to I'm ready to burn this thing down. So, oh, but I did bring Cody today. Cody, you want to start us off before things get hot and dangerous? Of course. Is your leggy? Yeah. All right. So here's the heat shield. So. No bacon today, guys. We're just gonna stay safe. And then if something ruptures, I'm like, yay, something to catch everything. All right, go ahead and load make ready. All right, good. Bolt catch. No, well, yeah, you can do that. That's fine. Pull it back, let it rip. Good deal. Okay, remember how to roll all the way down two clicks because it's got a fun switch. Good deal. All right, lean into it, brace back, and just try to pepper right in the center. If you get a balloon, you get a prize. Nice. All right, your group cycle now like that. All right, go get me another mag. It's daddy's tiring. All right, keep passing mags. We're going to get going. <laughs> There's like rust dust coming out of that. <laughs> Okay, so here's what they're telling me though. What will happen is at about 180 rounds, you can mess up your gas tube. So we're gonna give it a little bit more. We're gonna cool off our gas tube just to make sure we can test the suppressor and barrel the most. A few more. It won't hurt anything, right? 
<laughs> this is fun. This is fun. Okay, one more. Let's get some water on it. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's on the gas tube. So if, if you're in the field, you know what you'd have to do if you didn't have water. You got pee on it. All right. That'll smell good. I got a good job. This is just cool. I know you're jealous right now. They're falling out. Yeah, we, we ruptured something downrange. We got a burn behind it. It ain't gonna hurt anything. Wow. All right, one more than some water on that tube, and we'll keep it rolling. Oh, I'm having sparks. Sparks? Well, it's because we're hitting steel on steel, I guess. At least it's behind that rubber. All right, gas tubes, all right. All right. Oh, they hit the whole tube. Okay. Sweet. I wonder how. That's, a, that's some good heat. I, I ain't even going to touch that guard yet. All right. That's cool. You know, you know what I'm noticing? Like, no blowback. Yeah, shoot, usually I, sh I just shoot a burst of three out of an AR with that's any suppressed, and, and I got gas all under my glasses. I've gone through over 200 rounds, and I'm... I, I, okay, that's cool. I like it. I like it. <laughs> so, all right, I'm feeling a little heat here, but dang, everything's running like a top. All right. Digging it. So, yes, we're totally spilling all our steel balls out, so... I don't want to stop and see why wind's going that way. We're going to go with the wind. All right, that's fine. All right, I love this pile of mags on the ground. And where's, oh, look at all the press everywhere. <laughs> all right, cool. I mean, I expected more heat to be a little more scared of what's going on, but we're doing great. We totally tore up that backstop though. Something busted. You said you wanted to try behind the backstop, right? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I saw some flame. Oh, snap. I saw some flame. But we're going on safe for a second. I see red. That is... I don't think anything ruptured. Here, I'm going to bring camera in, though. So it cooled down quick. It cooled down quick. We saw, I saw a touch of red, but we need to just keep going. I saw flame, so I was wondering, but it, it's probably just byproduct coming out the end of the can. <laughs> Cody's begging to go again, but for safety reasons, dad's going to keep on it. All right. Uh, we'll do water douse after this. Okay, so it's probably just, just uh, some flame going out. Water. Uh, out the end. We're going to keep the suppressor doing what it wants to do. We're going to just make sure the guns keeps running. I just want to see some steam. Okay, it's not that. It's not like it was crazy steam. All right, let's go. Oh, all right, it feels fine. Okay, just because my wife would never forgive me if I hurt myself today. We're gonna go safe. I can't aim now. There we go. Whoa. Ooh, that was louder. That was louder. Everything's intact, but, and everything's running. Nothing ruptured, so we're probably just heating it up and we're just, I don't know, maybe have gas expanding and, and, and flying out. We're gonna still have fun. All right, so it looks like the first half of the mags, you know, uh, it got the, it, it sounds normal and about halfway through it, we're, we're just we're just losing some uh, a sound suppression and flash suppression, obviously. Hopefully those are showing up. Let's keep rolling. Okay, even though we can hear more of a thump as we go, 
my uh it, it sound it, it still sounds quiet to me we've probably got we're probably at around 800 or so you still got more I'm too scared to come you just <laughs> cody's gonna <laughs> we're gonna stack up my pockets all right all right it's still running great though still looks good all right another 20 rounds in Nice and red. It's nice and red. Oh, snap. Okay. Uh, gas tube. And wind's coming this way. All right. Here we go. I want that on. Hold on. Good to go. Somewhere there's a live one. There it is. All right. It's cherry red and orange, but it's holding just fine. All right. More ammo. All right. Here we go. All right. For the first time, I'm feeling heat right here with my hand. We're still good. I am hearing metal creaking. All right, let's do another one and then we'll go pee on that tube again. It may be because I'm afraid of it, but it's almost like it recoils more when we also see flame out. But it may be because I'm just not holding it. But at the same time, this thing's running like crazy. Let's shoot again. Goes better if the bullets are in it. Oh, oh, that didn't sound like a whole mag. All right, we lost one round. We'll take that out of the count. All right, that was, that was good. We can blame that on the mag, right? Oh, snap. This is like, this is starting mag. 900 round 900 what oh it just cooked one that wasn't me it just cooked it that doesn't mean we stop <laughs> that was awesome okay all right i have a pile of eggs this is round uh a 960? Uh, uh, yeah, 960. Going to 1,000! <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, you can't quite see. I wanted to see the, the cherry red. That sun's out too far. All right, we're clear. We're empty. <sighs> okay, you can see. Maybe, maybe. All right. We are cherry red there. Hey, Cody, come pull this thing off. No. <laughs> my hat's hot after putting it back on. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. I'm going to be honest. I looked on YouTube just a little bit earlier, and I'm like, the only suppressor test that I saw that, shoot, there was like none that hardly made it over like three, 400 rounds. So I told Mark, I'm like, Mark, that suppressor is going to just put a dynamic in here that's going to make that thing melt too fast. I mean, it's not my gun. I don't care. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send it. But we just made it past a thousand rounds with one magazine issue, a little peeing on the gas tube, a cherry red hot suppressor. I'm impressed. I got to tell you, I'm very impressed and I'm glad nothing blew up on me too. So is my wife. But we're, uh, we obviously saw the, uh, let's go see what the, we did to the target down range. And then what we're going to be doing is letting it cool and then we're going to do an accuracy test. Now I'm really curious because if the gun ran that good, what's the accuracy still going to be? Oh, snap. Oh, crud. <laughs> okay. Well, it worked for a little bit. So I bet somewhere down here you're going to find a bunch of just chunks of bullets. But uh, for the most part, okay, we may have keyholing going on, which is what you'd expect if you're shooting down 
you know, with that much heat that the ch suppressor's cherry red, that, that, that barrel's probably just opened on up and those bullets aren't getting stable. And so they're just flying. But even though those bullets are flying down and keyholing, we're not going to have any suppressor baffle strikes because of that design. Cody's not going to pull it off for me yet. So we're going to let it cool. We're going to take it off eventually and see what's up and then accuracy test. All right, so while the thing's cooling off, we're like, wait, why don't we pull that meter out again and see what uh, it's going to sound like and what the meter's like even when it's stinking, you know, red hot up there. We could cook bacon. Go for it. Make sure nothing cooks off again. <laughs> 137.5 here show the show this camera here 136 it actually got quieter with it hot what the heck that's cool you can grab it grab it holy smokes okay it's been like four minutes since we've done a thousand rounds and i wasn't brave enough but mark came up here and he's like no way i can actually grab the heat shield barehanded that's nuts that's nuts and the finish it still looks brand new Maybe Mark will let me take this home. ATF won't though. Cool. All right guys, so we are all loaded up and this cool thing, what they did is they built, they have a tunnel. So we're out here in central Texas. You got winds all the time. So we do an accuracy test. This is the other side of the berm that we were just mowing it down. So the, there's a there's a hundred yard culvert here at the target at the other end. So pretty genius. And, and then it keeps your neighbors happy because you're not making noise to them. It's like, now nah, I want one. All right, let's see what's happening. Okay. All right, we're hitting pretty far left. Shoot the... Hey, we're starting to get a group, though. Okay, keep going. You saw the second, third shot, right? Uh-huh. Oh my gosh, it's grouping! Alright, that, that one went a touch more left. So we get... That's five shots. Yep, that's five. Hey, I see your other shot. It's in that white box where the other five are. I thought it got bigger. Yeah, it's just on the right-hand side right there. So it hit there, then it went over and shot three in one spot, then it went a little further. But still. <laughs> but we got a, we got somewhat of a group. Uh-huh. Now I want to shoot some more. Shoot another one and see what we're doing, okay, huh? Shoot on the right-hand side, yep. that other paper. Yep. The far right target on the top right, Copy. okay? Five inches. It's five inches to the left after that thousand round burn down, but the elevation's about right. Yeah, isn't that weird? Uh huh. Well, I would expect it to turn into some other kind of barrel after it got done. Ha! Huh. It's about the same spot, isn't it? Uh huh. Oh it's my touching. gosh! It's touching that bullet. It is! Go ahead. You, Send you, it. You, you're getting this on tape. Yes, sir. All right, that one walked up a little bit. It left. might be three-quarter inch right now, but still. Still three-quarters of an inch. Wow. Stop there. Copy. I bet you got that on pace down there. Okay, so we just shot that five-round group. Now, oh, we shot two five-round groups because first time. So I'm shooting right here. This is the B4. We went full auto for a thousand rounds and I had one there that joined that group even though I was aiming here so we had a shift in zero and then we had four that were pretty darn close so we're like well shoot we just shot another five round group so I'm aiming at this target so we did shift zero we lost that but look at that center to center a hair over 0.9 actually you could call that 0.9 now let me go back here let me see make sure Oh, shoot. Honestly, 
<laughs> this one looks a hair under 0 0.9 and this okay so uh, the same accuracy after that torture test which uh, i bet if you call most manufacturers and say hey we uh we, we shot a thousand rounds through relentless non-stop and it's not grouping uh yeah they'd say yeah you avoided that warranty but that is crazy and we didn't mess up our group any all right but we also want to check how snug this is so check that heat shield off well dang it's good it's good and if it comes off oh crud that was easy uh, hit something on lock there oh I, I relocked it yeah and no carbon lock it's dirty it, it, it'd want to brush that part but sweet Oh, here we got, there's, there's some carbon right there. All right, cool deal. So, if you saw that, surely we got the, uh, with the after decibel reading, after the thousand rounds, and it was quieter by just a touch. It was more accurate. It's like, all right, so this is the new LaRue break-in procedure. Okay, anyway, guys, uh, that was a lot of fun, and thanks for watching. Remember, check your subscription because YouTube hates me. They demonetize my videos before they're even posted, and they will unsubscribe you automatically. So make sure you check that, click that bell, and hang out for more cool stuff. Thanks for watching!